The red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. It's almost here, all right? That's just a fact. It's coming out three days time. I might just watch it all in one go. I'm thinking that's how I'm going to do it. If that's the way Zack Snyder wants it to be done, then I'm going to give him that courtesy. It's been so many years. I'm going to say, well, I'm going to binge it in four hours. It's a lot. It's a lot. But is it worth it? After seeing some of the reviews, only the starred reviews, not actually reading what's happening in this film, it seems like this is much better than anyone anticipated it could be. And there was already a lot of hype for it. So I'm sensing the tides are a-changing and maybe Zack Snyder's DCEU might just be a reality. Hey, no Ridge with the comic here. Right now, we're just going to be reacting to potentially the final trailer for Zack Snyder's The Snyder Cut. All right, Justice League, the Snyder version, the version it should have been all along. So let's get to this. As I said, some of the reviews coming out are stellar. Maybe the Snyder DCEU is indeed intact, but let's get to this. Let's go. So oh, shit. Bad. We're starting at the end. It's good. I've never seen a being this strong. Maybe one. He's bad. <sighs> Was she talking about Superman or Dark Side? Trying to divide us. I made a promise to him on his grave. I need to bring us together. There are enemies coming from far away. They serve an old power. This world is divided. No protectors here. All right. Oh, there's the lanterns. No Kryptonium. It will fall in his name. Menacing for sure. I have turned the world to dust. All of existence shall be mine. I have a second chance. I am not going to waste it. He said the age of heroes oh will never come again. Oh my God! Some of these shots. Fighting the devil and his army. Hey, those were the beams! I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us united. It's time to stand. Fight. The time. Is now. <sighs> St still, still questions. We still have bloody questions about this, all right? It's not answered. I suppose that's what they want to do. They want you to be like, what's going on? Hang on. Because Martha had red eyes there. She had wet eyes, all right? It's not like she was red eyes black dragon. But I'm thinking that this is the Martian Manhunter because people been saying he might have been the seventh member. Remember all those teasers like four years ago, Unite the Seven. People were saying, who is the seventh member? Is it going to be Shazam? Is it going to be Green Lantern? Is it going to be Martian Manhunter? That may have been Martian Manhunter as Martha there. I don't know. Or maybe Martha being controlled. Really, we have no idea. But once more, a really, really good trailer. I think I preferred the last trailer in terms of tone and the structure of it. I think it was actually one of the best trailers I've ever seen for a full length two minute trailer. But this was also really, really good. I mean, the tone is there, the stage is set, and apparently Zack might be being welcomed back into the DCEU because there are rumors springing about that maybe he's gonna direct Wonder Woman 3. There are rumors. I've read the rumors. I've read all of it. It's possible. And maybe Justice League 2 and 3 are going to happen just on HBO Max. And I think I'm all game for that. I want that. 
I want that. I, I know this is going to be a better film than the film we got because the guy has had the time to craft the film he always wanted to make. I mean, this is the thing with these types of huge budget films. There are constraints. You can't have a four hour film in cinemas. A three hour film is like the max and you have to earn that with the audience. But it just makes sense if you're going to be putting it on a streaming platform to just give the creators the license to make what they want to make and give them full autonomy and liberty to create the thing that they envisage. And hands down, that is one of the best things to come out of this whole streaming culture. Creators having the ability to tell the stories they want. And I'm all for that. While sometimes you get a lot of shit, there is indeed, there are indeed the golden nuggets that come with it. And I think this one is going to be one of them. <laughs> Oh my god, some of these shots are just too good, all right? This is what we wanted to see all along. And I feel like I understand finally the line Zack Snyder uttered that I thought was absolute nonsense, which was he wanted the Justice League films to be like the Lord of the Rings. He wanted the DCEU to have that tone and that vibe and that structure. And I thought it was utter nonsense. But seeing this, I believe it. I see how he came to that conclusion and that's the story that he wanted to put forward because it kind of does fit. Seeing the, the bloody Greek gods along with the lanterns. I don't know if Ryan Reynolds is going to be in this. I don't know if Green Lanterns are going to be in the main continuity and storyline going forward. But I'm thinking Martian Manhunter is going to be in here. And that shot with the six of them at the end is actually going to be a seven. And Martian Manhunter might slightly be like floating above. Also... My guy, Batfleck being back is something that I think most fans have, have warmed to. I think he was a good casting, but I was dubious about it. But seeing him, he is almost a quintessential Batman for me. The guy really, really made the role his own, and I don't think people respect it enough. Joker here, Leto, Jared Leto, Leto, whatever you want to say, maybe a better incarnation. And Superman is Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill is Superman, Henry Cavill is Superman. Don't be doing any of this recasting nonsense, all right? He is soups. He is Clark Kent. Don't be doing it. Don't be doing it. Don't be doing it. But we, as the fans, are here. And we are waiting to quote Optimus Prime from, you know, Transformers number one. We are here. We are waiting. I kind of feel like that now. Dark side shifting off the Omega Beams, shifting off the good good. Steppenwolf looking like a, a monster, like he should be doing. Like he looking like he's going to be taking people heads off. I believe it with this look. The other look was just too tame. This look much much better also cyborg you know the design looks better here it doesn't look as fake i think they rushed it in the post-production last time but here it's all looking groovy baby anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please like share comment and subscribe to the channel down there if you didn't if you didn't then who's gonna come after you my guy soups black suit superman's gonna come after you, you don't want that no you really don't so just subscribe anyway to avoid that i've been narendra the comic you've been Graham. we'll see you next time that's tomorrow if you don't know make a video every single day you've been doing it every day for over 1000 days now we ain't stopping what's that we ain't stopping till we get 10,000 subscribers so do subscribe Pop back in tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow for some more quality shitty content. Because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the bagwas. Bagwas means nonsense in Punjabi. And we also bring that. We bring a lot. We bring a little. We do a lot. We do a little. But we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow. More of the same, but slightly different. But essentially the very same. Once more. See you then. Skadoosh.